what's going on guys welcome back to the channel on today's video i am going to show you how to hook the ball the proper way so guys make sure to hit that like button please consider subscribing like 60 percent of you guys are not subscribed and i'd super appreciate it if you took a second hit that subscribe button if you like this new ball carry t-shirt that i'm wearing or any of the jerseys in any of my videos coolwick.com promo code napolis 10 that'll get you 10 percent off your entire order link down below in the description if you want to order this bowling ball any bowling ball in any of my videos ball cut by a company called dh lab link as well down below in the description great way to help support the channel all right so who is this video for well, it's basically for two, two kinds of bowlers, right? One is for the person who just throws a straight ball that really wants to transition into hooking the ball. But also two, and I fall into this category as well, so if you feel like you have a lot of the same issues as me, this is gonna be a good video for you, is if you spin the ball a lot, or you feel like you're not really behind the ball, or you're really more off the side of the ball, and you really want to develop the right habits to hook the ball the proper way, this is going to be the video for you. Uh, back in the day, and I, by back in the day, I mean like three years ago, there's videos on this channel. Just go back and search from like three years ago. You can see two and a half, three years ago, I threw the ball much, much better, I feel, than I do now. And the biggest difference is that then I used to practice a lot. Now I don't have as much time. I'm posting more videos. I have a full-time job. I have a baby who I love at home. So because of that, a lot of my old bad habits are starting to come back. So we're gonna work on them today. We're gonna go over a few drills that I really love that train your hand to be in the right position. And we're gonna start from the very, 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 very beginning, from the very bottom where a lot of people like to start in a one-step drill. I'm gonna go on a zero-step drill on the ground. So I'm telling you, we're gonna start from the bare bones and work our way up. So if you like this video and you want more educational content like this, let me know down below in the comments and please consider subscribing. Let's turn the camera around and I'll show you the first drill that we're gonna do. Oh, by the way, I have an IQ Tour 78U in my hands but it literally doesn't matter what bowling ball you do this with. I mean, it literally doesn't matter. Your spare ball, a strike ball, a urethane ball, it doesn't matter. I, we're not looking at score. We're not looking at anything. This is all physical. All right, so this first drill that we're gonna do, and don't worry, I will show you guys multiple angles. I will set up the camera a little bit from the side so you can really see what I'm doing. The first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna notice I have my shoe booty on. It's because our foot's going to go in the gutter. And I have a couple chamois here for knee protection. I'll show you. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way to the left side of the lane, put my chamois down on the ground, put my bowling ball on the ground here. If you're right-handed, right knee on the chamois, left knee in the gutter. All we're going to do here is get our hand in the right spot, which is right underneath. Not like this to the side, not super far inside, dead behind the ball so that your fingers and your thumb are facing the pins. And I'm not gonna take my hand or the bowling ball off the ground. I'm literally going to roll the ball on the ground. We're gonna do this two or three times. We're gonna go one, two, three, and then go straight forward with it. Straight forward. I don't really wanna see a whole lot of rotation. And again, it doesn't matter what it does on down lane as long as it's in a straight line. And guys, do not lift the bowling ball off the ground. We're gonna roll it on the ground. So I'll do that a few more times. Uh, you know, if I'm not recording, I'm gonna do this like maybe, maybe 15 times, 15 to 20 times, just to really get my hand to understand where it needs to be at the moment of release. So one reason I do like doing this drill with urethane is because the oil stays on the ball longer or you know, it doesn't absorb into the ball like with the reactive. So you can really see where the track is. I hope you guys can see it you know, right by the fingers. And this is why we do this so that we can get a ball track that's like this. I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of this and I'll post it here so that you guys can see it. All right, so one more from behind and then I'll show you guys one from the side. So again, same thing, you know, when I do these drills, I like to be on the end pair, that way I'm not really interfering with open play, you know? So again, hand right behind the ball, a couple practice swings, one, two, 
and then straight forward. I thought that was a really, really good one. You want to keep it in line. The ball's going nice and straight. Of course, I didn't get the spare, but again, we're not worried about that. All we're worried about is keeping our hand in the right position. I'm going to turn it around here and put it uh, from the side so that you can really see what it looks like from there. All right, so now from the side here, again, I mean, we're really just going to do the same thing. Just I want, to, want you guys to see it from the side. On this shot here, you're not going to be able to see the down lane because I only have one camera with me. But really focus on where my hand is. Fingers and thumb pointing towards the pins. And we're going to keep it nice and straight. We're going to go one, two, three, and forward. Another really, really, really good one. Let's show you guys what the next thing is. All right, so once you do that enough times that you're really comfortable doing that, like I said, for me, about 15 to 20 times, it's going to be perfect. You don't really need much more than that. And anything less than that can get kind of you maybe rushing it. You really want to start developing really good habits, really good muscle memory. So the next thing we're going to do is incorporate a swing. And you might be wondering why I have my chamois, why is my shoe booty still on? And that's because we are going to incorporate a swing still from our knees. We don't really want to be adding a slide. We don't want to be nice and tall yet. We're going to do it from our knees. So basically we're going to do the exact same thing, right? But instead of being hunched over, let me pull my pants up just in case guys, sorry. Right? So instead of being hunched over on the ground, right? We're going to get our hand in the right spot like this and we're going to lift a little bit, right? And we're going to do the exact same thing that we did uh, before. A couple practice swings, nice and forward. So get our hand in the right spot, lift a little bit, get our chest nice and tall. We're going to go one. And notice how I'm not going very far back. Three, nice and forward. It's the exact same thing except adding a little bit of a swing. And then again, the goal is you can, look, you can hook a ball a million different ways, but ultimately you want your ball to be rolling more forward, it'll give you more of a consistent, readable ball roll. So that's why we do these drills. So we're gonna just do the same thing again. I would recommend doing this one maybe 20 times. And I know that seems like a lot, but if you really wanna build good habits and break bad habits, and look, especially, this is you know 20 times at the minimum if you already have bad habits. If you're just starting in bowling and you're just starting learning how to hook a ball, Maybe you can get away with doing it less, but if you already have bad habits, really want to focus on these two specifically from the knee. And again, chamois down, and look, trust me, you're going to want to put a chamois down because when you're big like me, your knee freaking hurts. You can even bring a pillow if you want, but I didn't want to bring a pillow, right? So hand nice and straight, fingers and thumb towards the pins. We're going to lift and we're going to swing it a few times. One, two, three, nice and straight. And we want to keep doing this so that we build these good habits, spare, so that we build these good habits so that when we eventually get into our full approach, whether it be four steps, whether it be five steps, we can release the ball the same way we do here at the foul line. So let's show you one here from the side. Because look guys, ultimately the goal is to be able to throw it like this on a full approach. So again, we're gonna get our, again, I, I, I really wanna stress this. Everything nice and straight, fingers and thumb pointing towards the pins. Once you get it into that right spot, we're gonna lift a little bit, swing a few times. One, two, three, forward. Like that. That's gonna be a really good one. And if you can do that on a full approach, you're gonna notice that your ball roll is gonna be much more stable, easier to repeat because there's gonna be less moving parts. All, at the end, your scores are just gonna increase. You're gonna have more success on house and on sport. Let me show you guys the next drill. All right, so here we are. Once you feel comfortable on the knee, ball on the ground, you advance to the, uh, on the knee with a little bit of a swing. And I cannot stress this enough, once you feel comfortable doing that, if you don't feel comfortable repeating from the knee, please do not stand up and try to rush through this process. This is a process, this is a journey, if you will, and you have to 
maybe not enjoy the journey, but you for sure have to appreciate and respect the journey because you're not going to get to your goals by rushing through them. Take your time, do it the right way. So once you feel comfortable, look, I still got my shoe booty on it because we're not, we're not uh, sliding quite yet. Once you feel comfortable doing all of that, now we're gonna do that same swing drill standing up. And trust me, there's gonna be a huge feel difference from the standing position to the, uh, from the knelt position, sorry, to the standing position. So we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get here with our toes pointed, or your slide toe pointed towards the pins. All right, we're gonna put the ball on the ground, get your slide, your, your left, uh, sorry, your right foot out of the way. Same thing, fingers and thumb pointing towards the thing, sorry, <laughs> towards the pins. And we're gonna uh, swing three times. And don't worry about, look, let me start over here. Don't worry about the ball plopping onto the lane. We're not adding any kind of anything. All we're doing is worrying about the release, okay? So again, toes pointed towards the pins, fingers and thumb also pointing towards the pins. Get your other foot out, your push-off foot out of the way. And we're gonna swing three times and everything's gonna go forward. Watch this. One, two, three. And I cannot stress that enough. Do not try to put the ball flush onto the ground. All we are worried about is getting our hand in that position to get forward to the pin. So here's a good way to know when you're ready for the next step. Once you can keep your ball roll nice and high, close to the fingers and that thumb, every single shot, shot after shot after shot, then you're ready for the next step. But if all of a sudden your track is like super, super low, don't go to the next step until you complete the first step or the step previous to. So we're gonna do this again, because like I said, ultimately the goal is to be able to have this higher ball track curve the ball the right way. So you don't wanna be rushing through it. So again, toes pointed towards the pins, push off foot out of the way, ball is down, fingers and thumb facing towards the pins. We're gonna go one, two, and three. And yeah. That one, I kind of missed right a little bit. I probably didn't do that one perfect, which all that tells me is that I'm not ready to get to the next step. All right, so once you feel comfortable doing that, now we're going to go to our next step. And this is going to be the last step of this video because I don't want to make this video too, too long. Uh, after this step, I will make another video if you guys like this one, if you want to see more. The one thing you're going to notice, slide sole is gone, or the, the shoe cover is gone. Now we're ready to incorporate a slide. And the biggest thing I wanna stress on you guys is you wanna to continue to build on everything you did before. So when we were, our, when we were on our knees with the ball down and we, and we you know, got a little higher, incorporated a swing, we were still focusing on keeping our hand nice and under the ball, nice and forward. When we stood up, again, same thing. Now that we're sliding, again, same thing keep building on what we did previous. So you wanna you know, get onto the approach, figure out like where your slide is gonna be, more or less, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and so what we're gonna do is, same thing. We're only gonna do one slide. So push, slide, we're gonna get the ball in, into the apex of our swing and we're gonna go. This is the one that I struggle with the most and it's the one that, this is where I usually start to lose it. But we're gonna work on this together. All right, so we're gonna get the ball nice and forward. All right, we're gonna get it into our swing and then we're going to slide. So I think I'm gonna go back and, and again, what the ball does doesn't matter. We're gonna go back and watch this one to see if it was good or where I need to work on it to point that out to you guys. So honestly, that one was pretty solid. I went back and I looked at where my hand released it was nice and behind the ball, nice and forward, right? I looked at my ball track, it was nice and high, not clipping the fingers, not clipping the thumb, not super low. You know, it was a really good ball roll. So that tells me that I did it the right way. And once you feel comfortable doing this, then you're ready to get into the next step, which again, will be in a different video if you guys enjoy this one and wanna see more. 
And this is where you can really start to feel like you're bowling, like you're doing something the right way. I'm gonna go right back to the same spot. I don't care what this ball does down lane, which is why I chose urethane and I'm playing in the middle part of the lane. So let's get into the swing and slide. I thought that one was really, really good. I thought that would, wow, and it struck, of course. Uh, I thought that was the best one so far. I'm gonna go ahead and double check that one and then I'll see you back here for a quick outro and uh, explain to you if that one was a good one or a bad one. All right, yeah, that one was a really, really good one. My timing was really, really good. I was behind the ball, nice and forward. Everything that we worked on at the beginning translated to that one step into the slide. And again, if you guys wanna see me get further back into two steps, three steps, four steps, five steps, let me know down below in the comments because if this video gets like no views and you guys hate this kind of stuff, then I'm not gonna continue to waste everyone's time. But if you wanna see more, please let me know in the comments. The goal for this for me is to just to get better as a bowler. My goal is to get better as a bowler so that I can give you guys a better product. Whatever your goals are, commit to them and we will get to them together. We'll see you on the next one.